All right, so now for the standing closed guard opener. When I'm controlling the closed guard, I always want to control my posture. I always want to have a good posture. I want to be able to move within the limited movement, and I want to be controlling live from sitting up. So I always have one hand just here. All right, what this hand's going to do though is I'm going to hold the sleeve, and I'm going to pin her sleeve here, and my hand's going to go over the top if I can. All right, now I'm going to stand up like that. And this is where it changes slightly. I'm gonna to switch to a cross grip. I'm gonna pull up and have even more posture. Now this hand's gonna slide in through here. I'm gonna straighten my leg, and slide her knee down, and then end up in combat base, just like that. Just like any control from on top in the closed guard, I always be wanting to win the inside space. This gives me posture, all right? What I'm gonna do with this hand though is I'm gonna hold this hand here and tuck this in. I don't want her to control my leg and, and for me to get stuck in the closed guard and lose my posture. So I catch the sleeve, tuck it under, and I try and pin it just like that. Now I stand up. It's important when I stand up, I'm looking forwards. All right, if I look down, she can bring my posture down. So I'm looking forwards just like that, all right? Now I switch to the cross grip. It is important, guys, that when you switch to the cross grip, you try and get as much posture as you can and my elbows are tucked back in, all right? Now what this hand does is, it slides in just here. I'm not using my elbow to push down. My hand just cups here. I'm gonna straighten this leg momentarily. Slide, and then my knee goes over the top. Now I'm safe from the closed guard. 